well 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 at this time we are going to build our ui last time we got this error that's uh, why we are stuck in here and we are going to fix this problem and we try to consume our block previously we are built our block perfectly after that like we are going to fix some little errors that's what we are going to do our problem is like our directional widget is not uh, perfect tree we are going to make we are going to fix that problem to do that oh let's move to our main and let's remove our text and we are going to wrap with material up material material app inside material app let's create our home and inside our home let's check it with just random text let's save it and restart it if it's work we are going to transfer it into our out page okay it's work then our home is going to be out page that's what we need to do it what happened to this one declare oh it's going to be null why this thing is going to be null Let me check out my out page. Just column and text. Okay. No constructor declare in this class. I think it's not working. Should work. Okay. If text is working like our home going to be out page yeah it's work I just Forget a minor T error. Then let's fix our out page. Our out page is going to be what we are going to do inside our page. Like I said previously, let's build like the upper part. This logi, this logo, and there is a component. Inside a component, we are going to create a row, and inside a row, there is two buttons. If you are pressing the login button, we are going to show some container. Same thing for to sign up. That's what we are going to do. I'll show you how to build that kind of stuff. Okay. Do 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 do. Um. Okay, let's destroy this thing. And just all about scaffold. And not going to be stateless. Let's change this thing into stateful widget. Then, 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 after that. Yeah, that's all we need to do it. Okay. Yeah, to do those things like there is we need to be and then 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 okay okay let's create our body inside our body let's create a safe area 
because we don't need we don't that we don't want to touch our navigation bar inside our child like consume block consumer it's going to consume where is an out block do, 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 do. And it's going to be out state block consumer need block footer. Okay, let's implement this thing. Do, 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 do. If our state is login success, it's not going to be login success at this time, it should be like sign up success. But I just for convention, let's working with this one. Head state is going to be is login. It's going to be true. This thing is not created. We are going to create it. Is login is should be create. It's going to be boolean. Is login going to be starting with true and we are going to create state for that what the heck void so we'll login mode it's going to be set state and this login is going to be true. That's how we're going to state our status and to store our key value or password. Let's create form. Form key is going to be global key. And Let's create set form that's how to type. Oh, it's not going to be set form 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 state. That's how we're going to initialize our form key. I'll show you the use of those things. Let me minimize this thing and let's write our code. Do, do, do. Okay, inside our builder, it's just an empty container, but at this time, we don't need container, we just need column. Inside column, we need create children's. Okay, then we are going to create. We're going to create a row. Do, do, do. Okay. Inside our child. Oh, it should be scrolled. Dun, 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 dun. This column is going to be like. Okay. Single child scroll view going to take some children inside this there is a column column take going to take children and inside this column let's create row this row takes what kind of thing we are going to add in here we are going to insert some image oh our image is not in here. Let's pick my image. Let me pick my image. Where is it? It's a lot of images. Let me copy paste the whole thing. And for yeah. in our assets, there is font. And let's see VG. Let's delete it.
du, du, du. Less based on asset. Inside an asset. Yeah. Just a lot of picture. Okay. After that, we need to tell it. Yeah. I already tell it where the asset is. It's going to be an asset. The CCG is in here. Let's tell it this one. We don't need font at this time. Let me copy paste something. I don't want to spend my time writing this thing. I already write it in here. Let's save it. At this time, we can call it. Yeah, it's going to be images or SVG. I should write these things. We don't need this thing. That's all we needed. Then we need to write our image. Okay. Image dot fit. I miss something when I write it. Image dot asset and our asset name is going to be do 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 logo. This one is. That's how we are going to do. add it. Why the image is not here? Okay, let's restart it. Could not update the past device. Do 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 do. Oh. There is a font error. There is an always error. Okay. Let's forget about our fonts. We just need to add image. Okay. Let's start again. Oh, there is a slash here. It's going to be for a slash. Why the image is not coming? Should come in. No. It didn't show me any error plus the image is not here. Okay, let me add width. I think the width and the height is not the problem at this time, but we can. Add some weeds. SVG menu. 
What is an SCPG? Here is it. Why is this thing is not accessing our file? No idea. It's copy relevant task. Should work at this time. Okay, let's stop it and rerun again. I have no idea why this note is why they didn't access the picture. Should access it. Okay. Height screen to B. Fix our height. 54 screen to B logo. Plus H. And then, 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 there's a place probably if you can't expand our child view inside a column. And what we are going to do is okay. Let's restart it. Bad state. Oh, there is a problem. We need to add client into our injection container. That's our problem. Okay. To add those package, we need to add HTTP. Package HTTP slash as HTTP. That's how we're going to add our client. Then, 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 SL dot register lazy single turn. Things that's how we're going to do it. I didn't forget it. Boom. Done. Going to call HTTP.client. That's how we're going to initialize it. Okay, let's try to restart it again. working work perfectly but the logo is going is being at the end of the it's going to be the starting point i'm gonna fix that okay our child is called view okay let's expand this thing Hundred and our row to move it. Main axis alignment is going to be main axis alignment dot center. It's going to be center of starting point. And yeah, we need to push and yeah, we need to give space from the upper part. How we are going to do it? Let's create sized box, and it's going to take 
parameter height is going to be 20 h yeah that's perfect okay after that what we need to do is our row section is going to be ended in here then we need to create another thing what we are going to do is we need to build stack. If you know about stack, stack is going to accept two things. There is some files and the position. I'll show you something. Inside stack, there is okay. It's going to take children and contain. Let's call this great container. Let's give them a color. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's decode this container. This container is going to be decode this box decoration. And inside our box decoration, we need to border radius to create that kind of edge thing. Okay. Fiona. See the edge thing, this is going to be edge. We need to create that border. Okay. Border. Border radius. Border radius dot only for top left. Radius dot circular, and we are going to give them how to elapse it. And yeah, for top left and top right, top right and for top right is going to take the same thing. Radius circular, and we are going to give them the same thing. But you didn't see the effect. That's why, because like the container also is white color. Let's give them a color. Mm. We are going to give them a color. Mm. Here is it. I close it. Where is our box direction? Yeah. Color is going to take up color dot blue I will show you how to get this color how am I getting this color this color is stored in where is my core file there is it there is a lot of colors. I just put it in here. I don't want to rewrite it. I just call it like up colors dot all these names. That's how we are going to access it. But the color is not coming. Why? We need to add some height and width. It's going to be. We are going to do it with is login. It's login tab and hundred. Otherwise, or for otherwise, we are going to use two point or nine hundred. If the login is true, it's going to be seven tab and hundred. Otherwise, it's going to be nine hundred. This time, it's going to give us like the color. And there is two border radius for top left and top right. Okay, we need to add some padding or pad insect. There is only age insect only for top. Top is going to be 24. Okay. 
if you got the blue like we need to add another container upper from the this blue layer that's why we are going to use stack we are going to duplicate some containers in the layer 4 okay okay da, 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 da. when i close a container after a container inside a container we need to create a row for that we need to call child what am i in here Inside stack, there is a container and child. Why should I call it? call the children? Oh, inside the children we can't call. It. Do 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 do. Here is it. Child, our child is going to be row. Our row is going to take children, and we are going to create two buttons. We are going to use elevated button. When pressed, we just skip it. And for our child, what we are going to do is for our child is going to be text. That name is going to be log in. And we need to style up a little bit. Yeah, here is it. Our login. Okay, let's start edit our elevated button. Call it style. Button style. Inside our button style, here is an elevation. Material. A property. There is no material. Okay. Let's forget about elevation. And. Okay. Background color. Background color is going to be. Colors dot transparent. My color is going to be transparent. Da, 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 and then why material state is not working? Background color material. Material state property dot all and we are going to add colors dot transparent. Yeah, it's working. Okay, if it's transparent, let's change the color of the text. Oh. Okay, let's add elevation. Elevation material state property dot alt in our elevation is going to be zero point zero or it's going to be zero. 
our elevation is working. I have no idea why this underline is in here. Shouldn't be here. Okay. When I press it, on press, what we are going to do is we are going to set state. Set state is login through when I press it. Otherwise, there is a sign up page. It's going to be false. And we need to reset our current uh, text or effect. Not just text, like we are going to reset our state. We are going to reset it with current for key current state. It's going to be reset. Yeah, you need to remove it. Okay, it's always starting with true. It means like it's going to start with like the login button. Do 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 do. If it likes that, like. We can't tell them like it's going to start in with sign up page. We are going to edit our text. Let's style. It's going to accept text style. Okay, let's change our color. Our color is going to change is login. When I press login, up color. Dots white, otherwise, when we are pressing another thing or sign up button, it's going to be a little bit blur, or we are going to add some opacity. For that, we are going to call up colors. Same thing is going to be white, but 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 with opacity. Where is an opacity? Our opacity level is going to be 0 0.75. That's going to be great for this one. Yeah. Do 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 do. Okay, we need to this thing in here. How we are going to do is inside our row. There is cross axis alignment and main axis alignment. Our cross axis alignment is going to be start and main axis alignment is going to be center. Here is it. I don't want to be center, but when we are adding another button, this thing is like move to our left. That's all what we need to do is let's copy paste this thing. First, let's modify it a little bit our style, it's not just about color. What we are going to do is font size. Font size is going to be 80. Yeah, that's nice. For our font family, urban bold. Okay. There is an urban bold, but we didn't add in. YML. You just need that thing. Our PubYML font is what is an urban bolt.
Fontes. Where is my Fontes? Main rights. Office regular. Urban regular. Okay. I'm going to use Urban regular. For that thing, let's close this thing and font family. Our font family is gonna be You need to add urban bold in Pabuy Mail. Urban regular. Do -do 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 -do. Is going to be on this going to be for urban bold copy relevant pass. And we are going to copy paste this thing and put it in here. Our bam bold is not working. Oh, we need to put it in conditions. Yeah, it's working. It's changed. It's work. After that, what we are going to do? Yeah, we just repeat these things. Copy. And we are going to test this thing. Our text is going to be sign up. And this thing is going to be false. I think that's all we need to do is. And we should change this thing with opacity 0 0.75 and let's remove in here. We don't need opacity for this one. Here is the login. When I press sign up, oh, that's going to be white. Oh. 
of is opacity yeah 0.75 and let's remove this thing yeah it's working perfectly that's what we need to do if you do this we need to the last thing to do is mm -hmm. Let's remove this thing. Okay. That's our road. After our road, there is didn't here is our container. Inside our stack, we need to create another thing is position. We need to position inside position. It's going to be container inside our container. Container is going to take two, 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 two. okay. Let's decor our container. Decoration, box decoration, and we need to add some colors for our container. Oh, we don't need add colors, but it's going to be default color is going to be white. Let's create border radius. Border radius dot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Going to be only for our top left. Let me show you what I want to do. I'm going to create like white container and we are going to add two border radius for top and right left. Border. There is a circular border. I think so. Yeah. Border dot circular. Oh, it's not border. Radius dot circular, and our radius is going to be like it's going to be the previous one. It's going to be 30 or 25. 25 is going to be great. For top right, radius dot circular is going to be. Same thing, 25.r If you are decorating, you need to add color Color is going to be up Colors Dot white. It's not visible. Oh, you need to add some height. If you don't give them the height, of course, you can't see anything. Where our positioned height is going to be 800. Or maximum, that's going to be our height. And for our container, why did I miss something? Did I miss something? If I put in some height, like it should give us a color. Container is going to take you, do, do, do. Okay. Let's add some child. If is logged in, mm -mm -mm. we are going to return some container for that. Let's create some widgets.
widget login component dot dot and sign up component dot dot room 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 sdl going to be sign up container request load oh. going to be sign up for login we are going to do the same thing we are going to create stateless widgets and let's create a login component container child text is going to be login let's get back to our page if login is true what we are going to return login component otherwise sign up component sign up component that's what we need to do is okay Oh, let's fix something. Our position not going to be ninety six dot eight. Left is going to be zero. Right is going to be zero. And working when I press login in our login pages here our sign up pages here that's what we are wanna build it inside our container we need to add some padding age insect dot the for top let's give him 32 For left, let's give for T. For right, let's give him some. Yeah. It's perfect. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I think that's all we needed. Our authentication page is finished. The next thing we need to do is we are going to build our login and sign up page. I'll show you for the next video. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you like the video, you should subscribe it.